In this video, I'll share 10 apps that you should definitely check out uh, if you're a Mac user. And for the best part about this, all apps are absolutely free. With this app, App Cleaner, you can remove any app you want. So not only is it gonna remove the app, it's gonna remove all the information in the app as well. So let me show you. So I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna uh, drag this app. So oh, look at this, it found uh, three files. So it found the app and also all the information in the app. And you can tap on remove, then it's gonna be gone. As simple as that. So uh, le le let me show you guys with another app. I'll just remove all them there. Look at this, it found 10 files in their app. Just tap on remove, then it's gonna be gone. With this app, it's called Mini Barrex. You can actually open up any e mobile app e you want from your Mac. So you can open up Twitter, open up Instagram, you can even open up Netflix, you can open up e your regular app like Gmail, Coinbase. So you can open up any game, even you can open up the mobile game as well. So if you tap on that, you can actually e play this game as well. So look at this. You can actually e play this game as well. Uh, how cool is that? So look at this and then also if you just uh, right click on it you can just open up a new tab and after that you can op you can open up any uh, other app as well just know if you're gonna do this sometimes it does take a, a bit long just for this to load so look at this after you give some time to load it's gonna go back and after that if you want you can watch a, any other app as well so look at this for, for that game is still open but now you can go and open up a, a like a new app let's say i have to open up instagram just tap on instagram and then it's gonna open so with this app is called grab to text you can actually grab text from any video and also image as well so this is how it works you're gonna tap on grab text i just go and hover over this then it's gonna say copy text okay so after that i just i just open up a node and then click on command v again it's gonna paste it so now uh, let's go to an image and then tap on grab text again and now i copy this it's gonna say copy text after that i just go back to that and then click on a command v look at it it's gonna paste it how cool is that so this is a simple app but you can actually copy text from any image or even a video as well with this app is called tembox anytime if you're gonna s s sign up for any like a newsletter or any spam email with this app is gonna help you a lot so for this you can open up your app and then you're gonna tap on plus after that you can actually e uh, generate a, actually a random email so with this email anytime if you anytime if you're gonna get a text you can actually use this email so just not this email is actually a pretty good then also if you check this box it's gonna generate a password so with this you can it's gonna give you a new email address and password so let's just do a random one after that you're gonna tap on a uh, create and after that you're gonna right click on it and then after that you can just copy it so you can just copy the email and also the password as well after that anytime if you have any email or any like if it's asking for your email you can just put in that email then tap on a uh, subscribe and then after that, if you just uh, go back here, just uh, just like you give it a few seconds, and then for that email, it's gonna start uh, like showing up here. So for me, I actually use this email like a couple of times. So look at uh, like this one, I actually use this email as well. For the next step, it's called uh, Sweet Quit. That's not this app. This app should not exist because for some reason, anytime if you let's say I open up a, a web browser, I open up any app, right? If you just tap on cross, that app should close automatically, right? But the thing is, if you just tap on, if you just, you're gonna see, if you just click on command and tap, you're gonna see that app is still open. So only reason this quit because of this app, right? It's got so, so quit. So with this app, anytime if you actually press the X, right here, so this, I don't know why it is not in native. I think we just press X, and then after that, just give it a two to three seconds, you're gonna see for the app is gonna close up like that this is how it should be done for every single app but i don't know why does not this exist so for any app anytime if you press on x if you just go on the top then you have to tap on quit and then it's gonna quit the app but things with this app if you just open the app and then tap on x then it's gonna quit after two to three seconds look at this after that is quit uh, i can hold the command and tap you're gonna see for the app is gone this is how it should uh, work for the next step, it's called only switch. So this is the no, no, normal control center for the Mac. It's not, it's all the basic stuff. But things with this app, only switch, you're gonna get a bunch of new stuff. Look at this, you can hide a, 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 a desktop icon for the, all the icon on desktop is gonna be gone. You can just turn on the dark mode. Within like two seconds, you, you can just emit the device. You can just go and keep the Mac wake. You can do the screensaver, it is a night shift. It's auto hide. You can even empty the touch from here. You tap on clear, it's gonna be gone. After that, if you just go to your setting, you're gonna get a bunch of new options as well. You can go to customize, you can go down, then you can add all of these. Look at, so there's a tons of things you can add. You can even uh, eject the desk. You can uh, dim the screen. You can do the screen text and uh, click. Uh, clean you can even do apple music if you have that you can even show recent app in the dark 
he, he can even emit the mic he can even do the low power mode and after that if you just tap on shortcut you can actually use a shortcut as well so if you have the apple shortcut setup you can actually do that as well just tap on it it's gonna go there if you just tap on the switch just go down you're gonna see it's gonna show the uh, shortcut as well how cool is that for the next step is called image playground and this is actually a native app by apple apple actually introduced on mac os on uh, uh 15.2 so this is actually recent so that's not this is all that's not this is available on uh, iphone and also on a mac i just pointed that uh, it was on a mac and also on iphone because i'm using iphone to record it. so with this you can actually do the same thing so with this you can actually type in an image you want let's say cat i just said chat cat in a car then i can just uh then then tap on go i can do for the suggestion i can do in a like adventure s and then for the style you can do animation or you can do like the playstation as well so it's gonna be like in drawing uh, look at that so this is carrying a car then it's gonna give you like a two to three images it's not for the images it's actually good quality too you can just right, right click on and then you can actually save, save the images for the style if you want to go back to animation you can just do that as well you go back and then it's gonna do that for the image it actually looks pretty good too it, it just not that's not you can actually do this on a cartoon if you just tap on a person you can actually do the person as well for the next app it's called badly and if you care about your mac battery life this is the app you should download so just know this is not for a mac this is for anything if you charge your device 100 percent it actually ruin the battery life for the battery health it actually goes down if you charge your device 100 percent all the time so with this app it actually help you there so for this you're gonna tap on setting then after that it's gonna to go to charging make sure that is on automatically managing charging make sure that is on for the limit make sure you set the limit so for me it's like 85 percent if you want you can go up to like 90 percent but then i don't recommend that so go like a between like 80 to like 85 if you want you can even go all the way down to 50 i think 50 is like a bit too low but i think with this is pretty good so if you uh, charge the device 100% for the battery, it, it actually goes down. So if you just uh, tap on the battery, you're gonna see, you're gonna get uh, lots of information. For the, in the top, you're gonna get the battery percentage for Mr. 67%. For the next, it's gonna battery life, how long it's gonna last for the battery. For, for the next, it's gonna be how long you're actually using uh, your device for me, it's like almost like four hours. For the next, it's gonna be uh, the cycle count. So how many times you actually charge your device. For me, that's 63. For the next, for the important one, is you can battery health. For it, for me, it's like 97 percent. If it's like below like 80 percent, then make sure you go to Apple Store and get any battery. For the next, is gonna be the uh, app users with the high energy. So with that means, so which app is actually using a lot of like battery life? If there's an app that is actually using it, make sure you, you close the app. For the next is gonna be charge 100 so just do the ck only like a few times if it's like emergency feel like you're going for a trip or something and then you can just uh, like you can click on this now for the for, for, for the charger it's gonna go 100 percent for the next is gonna be like run on battery so if you actually use the external motor then, then with this mode it's gonna help but uh, other than that it's not that useful and uh, that's it so this is the app uh, badly i think everyone should download this app for the next app, it's called Kichu. I think it's one of the apps that everyone should download or on a Mac from day one. So the, the moment you buy a Mac, this is the app you should download. It's called Kichu. So with this, is going to show every shortcut and internet for every single uh, app on the App Store. Every single app on your Mac. So not only the App Store, but any app you download from like from Safari or any browser, it's going to show you all the shortcut you need to know. For this, you're going to double tap on the command and then hold it down for a few seconds. Then it's going to show you every shortcut I need to know for Safari. Look at this. Every shortcut I need to know for Safari is here. The spelling, view, favor, AA, everything is going to sh show you from here. Then over here in the right, is going to be customized one. So anytime you need to uh, customize a one that is e e one, you can just open up the app, then tap on my shortcut. Then you can actually tap on a shortcut and then you can actually can customize the shortcut. So any shortcut that is not in the app, that is not showing or a shortcut you actually need or, or you use, you can actually use that as well. So let's say I open up like a, uh, for like the Spotify, do the same thing, hold command and then hold the uh, shift. It's going to show every shortcut I need to know for the for the Spotify and then for my custom one, it's going to be in the right. How cool is that? I think this is the thing that every, every Mac should... Uh, I think this is the app that every Mac should, would have. I think this should be like the a native in the Mac. Okay, for the next app, it's called Mac. -y. I think this is another app that every Mac user should have. With this, it's like clipboard manager. So let's say I open up any, so I, I, I copied anything, right? So I just go to YouTube.com and then copy this uh, browser, uh, copy this website. 
And then after that, if you go back to Mac, you're gonna see it's gonna uh, be copied there. It's gonna be right there. It's saved all, all, all automatic. Let's say I go on this video and then go over here and then copy it. And then if you just open up Mackie, it's gonna show up right there. So uh, let's say I want to go back and copy the other one. I just tap on it and then it's gonna copy it. I just open up it uh, like anything, just click on Command V, it's gonna paste the uh, something. There's no, this app and not only is gonna copy the thing you just want to like a browser, it's gonna copy everything on a Mac. Anytime if you if co copy something, it's gonna sh show up in the menu. With this, it's gonna be caught. It's gonna be a clipboard manager, so everything you copy is gonna show up right here. Then if you enter like remove it, just tap on clear, then tap on clear, and then uh, from Mac it's gonna be gone, just like that. So so it's an, this is another app that I think everyone should do download for, for for their Mac. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Then if you want to see my last video, you can click on the, that video right here. So this is gonna be a, a app for the iPhone, so make sure you click on that video and peace out.